All right, so Bendy fans should be very excited. We just got a brand new free Bendy game. The spoilers is actually a teaser for Bendy 3. Now, if you haven't checked this game out yet, it's free on Steam and it's constantly being updated. Each update adds something new or changes something, so there's a good chance that the game has been changed while I'm making this video. But in this video, I want to show off some of the many, many hidden details I have found while playing, and trust me, there are a lot. So consider this kind of a walkthrough, kind of a story explained, but mostly the hidden details of Bendy Secrets of the Machine. So this teaser focuses on a brand new character to the series, Riley Wells. We find ourselves trapped in a mysterious area known as the Drawing Board. Now this is the first hidden little detail. The game actually plays out in a sort of loop. You will often be hitting endings, dying or resetting, and each time you find yourself back here, back to the Drawing Board. It's a cute little pun since going back to the drawing board means starting over, especially in something creative. There is also an arrow here that points into the darkness, but if you follow it, it just brings you back to the drawing board. So far, I haven't really been able to find any use for it. Once we enter the building, we find ourselves in this corridor. There is a symbol on the wall on the left that is actually the Japanese character for evil or wicked. Continuing through this inky tunnel, we find ourselves in the main hub area of the game. Here is where the majority of the gameplay takes place and where most of the puzzles are. The easiest room to solve is the one directly behind the mannequin Bendy. In here you can find a screen with four character plates next to it. Now you can hit these with cans from the vending machine in the centre room or this one that has been left conveniently here for you. Each plate has two sides, one showing the normal or friendly version of a character and the reverse side showing the scarier inky version. If you sent all of them to scary, you will get this screen revealing that Bendy 3 is indeed coming. But if you set one side to friendly and the other side to inky, you can get two more screens. One shows what looks like a movie poster for Alice Angel, and the other one shows this eerie scene which I think is showing a wheelchair and some chains. Now also in this room you can find this mystery box which rattles when interacted with. If you interact with it a lot, and I do mean a lot, eventually it will start spinning, lift off into the air, before coming crashing back down. Slightly anticlimactic. Now I actually tried this three times, you know, since Bendy 3, but it just does the same thing every time. Finally, in this room, you can also find a hand on the floor that you can also interact with. This is important for a future puzzle, so take note of this for now. As I said earlier, the game is constantly being updated, and as I was writing this script, someone in my Discord let me know that there was a brand new image. The latest one can be seen if you turn only the Bendy to the Ink Demon side. Now we get Fluffsy surrounded by a red line, meaning this is probably part of a new puzzle. Now at this point it's probably a good time to mention that you can actually reset back to the start in multiple ways. There are certain soft endings that you can find that will reset you, but there are also a couple of ways to do it manually. The first manual way is to throw a can at every single bendy cutout, which will cause the ink demon to kill you. But that does involve opening the theatre, which we'll come onto in a moment. The quickest way you can reset manually is by holding shift and typing K414. 414 is an important number to the series, as that was the number of loops in the first game. Doing this will also cause the ink demon to kill you, and it's the fastest way to reset. Now you might be wondering why you would want to do this. Well, as I said, you'll be coming back to the drawing board very often, as there are some secrets that require things to be done in a certain order, or you might just want to get back to the start for one reason or another, so keep this in mind. As I said though, you can get to the theatre by going this way, but first you have to remove the blockade. This is very simple, you just have to throw three cans into this pipe here, which will cause the barrier to move, revealing Guffy. Now this one is a pretty cool detail, but if you look here as you get close to the door, you can briefly see the real Bendy poking out through this hole in the wall. You can actually reveal a poster of Guffy by eating a can of soup, right click, then by looking away from here. When you turn back, you should see his poster. If this doesn't show, you might need to kill him first, and we'll get onto that in a moment. In the theatre, you can find hand number two on the front row, but if you throw a can at the screen, you will reveal an incredibly creepy reel. You can see the words reject and submit, but if you look closely, you can also see the Gent Company too. If you slow down the footage, you can see this face. It's really hard to see at full speed, but it's definitely creepy. There is also this, which could be the shape of Bendy. Either way, you can see the ink demon in here, and it's a very creepy little movie. Also in this room, you can find the hand poster. This is important for the hand puzzle. Again, we'll get there but there is actually a hidden poster in here too. To find this one, you need to throw a can at the neon popcorn sign, which will reveal Boris's poster. Now, if you have entered this room, then Guffy will have disappeared. But if you wait before going in, you can get another secret. If you throw a can at him, he will react. And if you keep doing it, he will eventually ask why. 
Now keep throwing cans at him, yes, don't worry about his cries for help, just keep lobbing cans at him, and after a few more hits, he will disappear and cause your game to crash. From this point on, you will sometimes see his ghost in this hallway, and sometimes he will even stick around after you go into the theatre. Now, as I said, there is a hand poster in this room, which is actually part of a secret puzzle. For this one to work, you need to have all three hands. The final one is in this alcove here. For this puzzle, you first want to make sure that all three hands are closed. Then you want to get a bunch of cans from this machine. You need 25 of the bacon soup cans. Also, keep another can handy as well. Once all three hands are closed, drink 25 cans of the bacon soup. Or keep drinking them until you hear your character burp. Once you hear the burp, you have to very quickly run to the poster and throw a can at it. You should then reveal a hole, quickly interact with it for this very secret scene. Now, since you'll be getting a bunch of cans from the machine, you might come across a golden can. These spawn at random, but are actually very important. If you drink one by pressing right click, you will do a large burp but their true purpose seems to be for the mannequin Bendy. The mannequin used to be stationary, but with the latest update, it's now following the player around when you're not looking at it. If you let it get right behind you, it will start whispering something that is backwards speech. This is actually some of the lyrics to the Bendy fan song Build Our Machine, thanks to the Steam community for that one. This isn't the only reference to the fans though. If you look here, you can see a copy of Bendy 64, something that The Meatly, the game's developer, had posted a mock-up photo on Twitter. I'm not sure if this is just a joke, a future project, or a fun concept, but let me know down in the comments below what you think. Now that the Bendy mannequin is moving though, if you hold a golden soup can in your hand and touch him, you'll be teleported outside. Once you get to this point, the Bendy will be stood in this corridor at the start and will now be saying those lyrics in a much more aggressive way. Now, if you come into the building still holding the golden can, you can now throw it at him. He will then teleport you outside. Turn around for a fun surprise. Speaking of fun surprises, if you leave the game paused for too long, you will get killed by the Ink Demon. So if you go to make a drink or something and come back to the starting area, you now know why. The final room we can explore is the most simple, but also the one with the most story. This door on the right is locked, but you can open it if you throw cans into both of these lights. Once you do that, you'll be transferred to this story sequence where we learn about Riley Wells. It seems that Riley's parents were killed in a car crash when she was very young, something that haunts Riley and causes her to draw these characters that some consider upsetting. We learn from this flashback that while at school, the counselors were very worried about her, but despite this, she managed to land a job at none other than Joey Drew Studios. However, due to her character designs being less than family friendly, she was fired, leading her to join the Gent Corporation. Once you get through this segment, you are once again teleported to the beginning. This time, however, the doors on the right are not here, and at the end of the corridor is a representation of the car that haunts Riley. This car is apparently Gasket from the mobile game Bendy and Nightmare Run, but it's heavily implied that this is a representation of the car that killed Riley's parents. In fact, the door that you have to unlock to get to this area is set up to look like headlights, as are the lights in this room and in this corridor. Once you get too close, Gasket will wake up and chase you. Once he catches you, you will die and reset. However, if you stand in this spot, the spot where the mannequin Bendy stands, you can survive this encounter. Looking at the license plate on the back, you can see it's death for you. These are the majority of the secrets and hidden details that I've managed to find so far. As I say though, the game keeps getting updated. The latest update out of recording added the cat poster, this room near the start with this sketch that keeps getting added to, these coffins, and there are even some scenes that I missed that have since been removed. If we get any major updates, I'll keep you updated, but let me know if you want to cover the Bendy series. I've never actually done a proper video series on Bendy and the Ink Machine, so let me know if you want me to cover it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.